This is a picture. You have to double check the picture. One sunny day, Alyssa Stewart, <laughs> at age of three, of Somerville, Tennessee, was visiting the ocean with Zachary and Skylar. Lissa was in the shallow water collecting colorful seashells. As she reached for a bright pink shell, someone tapped her on the shoulder. It was a beautiful mermaid. <laughs> I'm very unhappy, wept the mermaid. My daddy is the king of the sea. He's been captured by the evil serpent Electra, and I don't know what to do. So Lissa said, please don't cry. I know how to rescue your daddy. Do you have any friends that can help us? The little mermaid replied, yes, I have many friends who would love to help. <laughs> Lissa and the little mermaid swam towards the evil serpent's den. Along the way, they met two playful dolphins. We are Splish and Splash. Would you like to play with us? Asked the giggling dolphins. Lissa told them, we have no time to play. We must rescue the king. Come and help us. Lissa and her underwater friends swam a long way through the beautiful blue sea. Many sea animals wanted to help. There were graceful seahorses, countless starfish, and a whole school of parrotfish. Everyone was eager to help save the king. Lissa and her friends picture, swam picture. closer picture. and closer to the serpent's den. Oh, yeah. Gotta see the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> the sea became cold and dark. Lissa was afraid and wished Zachary and Skylar were there to help. From a distance, they could see Electra's den. It was a sunken pirate ship. Guarding the entrance were two huge sharks with big teeth and sharp knives. Sharp as knives, my bad. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! <laughs> That's some gangster <laughs> sharks. Sharks with knives. They're, they're from Memphis. They're really yeah. <laughs> the king was trapped with it. But the king was trapped with his hands chained tightly by his side. <laughs> picture, picture. Okay. We see. Everybody gets to see the picture? Yes. Okay. Sorry, Brian, you don't get to see the <laughs> Sorry, Brian, you don't get to see the picture. <laughs> Lisa explained the rescue plan to the sea animals and gave the go-ahead signal. The animals began swimming in circles like a swarm of wild bees around the serpent and the sharks. Lissa quickly entered the den through a porthole and unlocked the king's, cha king's chains. The mermaid's daddy was free. I'm free. I'm going to see the picture. We'll go sit over there. <laughs> the mermaid's daddy, the mermaid's daddy was free. You want to see it, Bob? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the serpent picture. Okay. Okay. He's a, a he's, a, he's a manly right, man. Look, look at him. The sea animals cheered, Hooray! Hooray! The king is saved! The overjoyed mermaid gave her daddy a great big hug. She said, Oh, daddy, I'm so happy we are together again. You could not have been saved without help from Lissa. We must find a way to thank her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is great. <laughs> the king decided to hold a grand celebration at the palace in the honor of Lissa. Animals from all over the ocean were invited. Alyssa Stewart was crowned an honorary member of the royal sea family. Mm. Everyone danced and played merry music. Zachary and Skylar... Sure would be proud of me, thought Lissa. <laughs> the beautiful little mermaid presented Lissa with many brightly colored sea flowers and seashells. Would you please stay with us forever, pleaded the little mermaid. Lissa replied, I must return to my home in Somerville, Tennessee, but I <laughs> promise to return to the sea kingdom to visit. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa thanked the king and the little mermaid for the beautiful party and the wonderful gifts. The dolphins splish and splash gave her a ride to the seashore. 
Lissa was happy to be home and could not wait to tell Zachary and Skylar about her wonderful adventure with the Little Mermaid. Adventure. And all at the age of three. And all at the age of three, man. I was <laughs> killing it at the age of three. <laughs> saved the whole mermaid community. Saved the whole mermaid community and became um, an honorary mermaid and then gave up my powers to come back home. Man, I was better I than I mean, if you hadn't done that when you were three, you might never have even been how, a mermaid. How right. did you, and now you're making a 360 because you are a mermaid. Yeah. yeah. So, Gran, you didn't know when you gave me this book <laughs> In 1999, that it was a prophecy book. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured you had to be a part of this storytelling. <laughs> I didn't care if I had to wake you up for it. 